there guys it's me again Jenny from Just Jenny Journey welcome back to my channel I'm just going to do the flip through of the last in the series the collection I've been working on um, this is this and that this is the last um, one um, and like um, here and there just to remind you that it will be by the time you see the video it will be listed in my Etsy store and will be the um, part of the 20% off sale which I'm going to start on Friday, the, is it the 28th tomorrow? I uh, think it might be, I think it might be. But anyway, by the time this is done, hopefully, I'd have worked out how to do it. Oh, anyway, so, final book. Uh, it's a hardback cover again, um, and it's covered in lace with the, um, so it's a layered lace like the this and that. Not this and that, here and there. Yeah. Um, it's wrapped in sari silk. It actually is uh, in centimetres, mm, right, about, say, 15, 15 centimetres wide, a little longer than the other one. This one is, I'd say, about 23 and a half centimetres long. The spine on it is about four and a half centimetres and it has three signatures just like the other um they're all the same with the three signatures this one is just wrapped um twice around in this um teal colored sari silk which is beautiful and um it has the tim holtz sort of thingy you know thingy thing this um on the inside now we have um this gorgeous lace uh pocket front um so it's horizontal isn't it and then on the back one, on the back, um, it's, no, oh no, so it's horizontal right across, it was vertical on the other one, I'm going mad. Um, each signature has 50 pages in it, yes, I did 25 sheets, double them over, yeah, 50 pages, so that's 150 um, altogether, and then that will make... 300 pages front and back won't it um, and there's a selection of laces as you can see and vintage fabric tabs with different charms well not charms i'd say i picked up the word but they're beads actually they're beads uh beautiful glass beads um from vintage jewelry so I'll start off with this little cityscape it looks a bit like the pavilion in brighton i'm not sure though i need to check it um but um, so it's basically on on a bit of paper, which is like a vintage fabric. And I've popped in the front here. Um, this has got the London cityscape stamp on it. Is, can you see that? And it's basically for journaling. Um, I've popped that on the back there. This, uh, the vintage postcard, the Oxford book for boys and girls from 1930s. I think it's beautiful. I just love the colors with it and um so that's in there and i've also popped in here from the jane austen little section there a little bit of ephemera you can pop that wherever you like okay let's hop in first page lace on the scrapbooking paper and if you can see this beautiful bead I don't know, can you see it beautiful glass bead on that first tab and i've just done a little bit of, of the stamping again on the that first well not first page but you know it goes through so some of the poetry book with the illustrations which is beautiful uh, i've got the ode to autumn which is one of my favorites from i think it's keats and on the back uh, so it finishes there and then the the, the um the graphic for that is beautiful i just got a bit carried away and put one of my faux leaves on the side there because i just think it's nice Right, so there's music paper, as you can see. Um, I've collaged, um, as um, I think if you joined me in some of my how-to videos while I was creating this, I've collaged some of the um, paper, like vintage fabric print paper, onto some of the pages as we go through. This is, I think this one was Oxford. Although it says Residence of Cambridge on the back, this was the Oxford spread. Uh, I hope you can see that bit of stamping here with a little suitcase and I've done a little collage there with the little square bead um, 
stamping on the maths paper. Lots of tea dyeing. I love the way it's turned out. Love the way. Love, 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 love. And um, yeah, so poetry and poems. This is a little, this was from the little address book. And I think it's Tower Bridge is in the, is one of them. In one of them, I think that's in, um, hmm. Anyway, one of the others. This is the Royal Albert Hall, a little painting of the Royal Albert Hall. So I've stuck that in because I think that's really nice. A bit of stamping. Washi. This is from the um, the furniture book, which is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Just I love the illustrations. I love the feel of the paper. Um, these are dotted throughout the book. I've still got quite a few of this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That's from... Dun, 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 the daisy chain just some paintings gathering flowers I don't know if you can see that anyway um, very English very English um, just popped a bit of that that's the only fabric that's not vintage I remember buying this um, and this I think is a napkin um, The tennis court, and then the centre spread is like the vintage uh, poster, which is uh, they're such a gorgeous combination of colours. And then I just popped in here from that little haul of um, uh, postcards I picked up the other week. Um, tennis at Queen's Club, March nineteen eighteen. Um, so I haven't, on any of these postcards that are popped in, I haven't covered them. I, I had thought of covering them with um, tea dye paper. You can do that if you if you like. But I just love the description on the back. I think it's just really informative. And I just aged it, I've just aged it on the, on the edges. A little bit. Oh, on here, that's a bit of a cut off. Oh, popped a little bit of washi on there that they just got I don't know if you can see little birds on the rooftops I just love the colors love the colors spring flowers and daisies uh, home thoughts from abroad that's uh, another poem and uh, a bit of stamping and washi on there as you can see these come out um, again just a little bit of um, it's a tea dyed and I've distressed corner uh, corner punched corner punched that's not corner punched rounded the corners that's what I wanted to say and just put the distress ink on um, distressed and I think it looks really nice Beautiful fabric tab again. That's um, from the napkin and the little bead. I don't know if you can see how what beautiful colour that is, and I just love it with this beautiful, beautiful image. Music paper. This is just the first signature. Just the first signature, and there you go, guys. a little bit of that vintage fabric just slotted onto the top there a little bit of the stamping and uh, stamping both top and bottom here um, love that love 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 that then you go we're going on to our Jane Austen signature and this one is from a Jane Austen book um, and it's a portrait of her and I think did I pop it on the back Again, this what portrait I think they think was um, this painting was um, done by her sister Cassandra, and I popped the information somewhere, but I can't remember where. Anyway, so some ephemera from um, a book all about Jane Austen, uh, Jane Austen esque, um, beautiful. I think this is from my Royal Horticultural Society diary. And then I've just done on here, um, I don't know if you can see just at the top here, um, it actually has the Jane Austen um, postage stamp. 
little bit of a collage with that with some lace and vintage fabric. I thought that looked really nice there. Um, more ephemera. Beautiful um, image of the like a. This is from um, another another book about English country life. Um, I popped this bit of chintz here because I love it. I love, 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 love this. And on here, what have I got? This little postcard is Stevenage, 1953. Um, this was a new town, apparently. I just thought that looked quite cute, them having afternoon tea. I don't know what where they are. Lovely Royal Holt Royal. I'm going to say rhs um diary page again and um tea dyed and popped in this is a little from sense and sensibility you can see that and that's clipped in because the picture on the back is beautiful as well and that comes out Again, this is from the furniture book. This is from the book about the um, counties, old counties. And I put Hampshire in because that's where um, Jane Austen um, lived, where she was born in Hampshire. And that's where she lived. So that's the old, uh, the county map. Um, and a few little details there, which I think are really quite interesting. Okay. I love this. I love this. I just decided to go a bit mad with these colours. This is a Tim Holtz. Um, is it die cut? They call it thingy. Oh, I don't know. Um, anyway, ephemera piece from the botanicals, and I just popped this little combination of laces on the top. And the laces aren't vintage, by the way, guys. Just to clarify, but beautiful nonetheless. absolutely love this I love the way this has turned out love 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 you get the gist I like the way that's turned out as well just a bit of stamping just a bit of stamping And that's the second signature, the Jane Austen. And the very final one with the beautiful teal lace on it and lovely bead. Lovely bead, if you can see that. See how gorgeous that is. Um, is the botanical um, English flower and um, birds. And the poem, a Glo The Glory of the Garden, um, I thought was quite fitting here. A little bit of collaging with some Edith Holden paper. Um, so that's lovely. Rudyard Kipling. Lots of Edith Holden. Beautiful beading. Beautiful beads. This is a bit of washi of mine from, um, it's just about correspondence really. I'm going to hurry it guys because we're coming up to 14 minutes. I might have to go just over the 15 I think. There you go. And we have more Edith Holden birds and a little bit of collage. It's from the Observer's Book of Birds, British Birds. A bit of um, Tim Holtz, a bit of vintage fabric as a collage. This pool opens up like so. In my defence, I don't know if this is a British flower, but it was from the RHS um, diary, To be, if we're going to be pedantic. Um, sunflowers are beautiful. N always room for sunflowers, methinks. So it's stuffed full of goodies. Stuffed full of goodies and visual loveliness. It feels nice. Really, really pleased about how these have turned out. In fact, I've saved a few pages from my new scripture journal. 
my Imagine the Time 2, which I'll be working on in the new year now, I think, because we've got lots to be doing. First couple of weeks, new custom order for Becky, a gratitude journal, which I'm really excited about. How lovely is that? That is just so beautiful. I just love the, the way the whole page spread sits. So I hope you like it. Hope you like it, guys. I've enjoyed making these. I've enjoyed making these a lot. And uh, as they say, she'll be in my Etsy tomorrow. Be, oh, look at that beautiful garden. Oh, oh makes you want to cry. It's so beautiful. This one seems to be a bit loose. I don't know why. I should pin it in. And there you go. I've got a couple of just a little vintage. Is this from the Lake District? A little country. Just a little painting in the back there. Right, guys, we've just gone over 16 minutes. Just to say, I um, hope you've enjoyed this. So it will be listed uh, by the time you see the video. Thank you for joining my journey in actually making these little lovelies. And um, so, as usual, I will say, if you like and if you like what you see, please subscribe. If you don't like, then just don't. Um, but uh, thank you for joining me for this one anyway. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.